I've just got my hands on the new Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 and it is pretty impressive. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this awesome new device. First of all, what makes this phone particularly special is the fact that, alongside the iPhone X, the Xiaomi Mi Mix 2 is really the closest you can get to a truly bezel-less smartphone that is on the market right now. There are barely visible bezels along the two sides, a very slim one along the top, and then a slightly larger, though still very small, bezel along the bottom. It's this bottom bezel that houses the front camera, though all the front buttons such as the home, back and menu keys are kept on screen to ensure that the maximum amount of front space is taken up by the 6 inch full HD display. Indeed, there are no physical buttons on the front of this phone whatsoever, with the fingerprint scanner being placed along the back below the rear camera. Speaking of which, although the back is a bit shiny for my taste, another thing that I really do like about the design of this phone is the neat gold edging they've given to the rear camera and the small gold lettering running along the back which blends very well with the design of the phone. The curved edges of the ceramic unibody also match the overall design very well and make the phone feel more comfortable in the hand. The volume rockers and power button do pop out from the phone only slightly, certainly not in a distracting manner. Along the bottom edge, you have the speakers on the left side, the microphone on the right, and a USB Type-C port in the middle. Unfortunately, fans of the audio jack might have to look elsewhere for their new phone since you won't be finding one on the Mi Mix 2. However, they did of course include a USB-C to audio jack adapter to help alleviate that issue. Not only that, but in addition to the standard array of USB cable, charger and manual, Xiaomi also included a stylish matte grey hardback cover for the phone. As far as internal specifications go, the Mi Mix 2 contains a powerful Snapdragon 835 CPU, an Adreno 540 GPU and 6GB of RAM with 64GB of internal storage. On the Antutu benchmark tests, the Mi Mix 2 was able to score an impressive 158,000, putting it firmly within the range of other flagship phones. For internal storage, you can choose between 64, 128 or 256 gigabytes. You can even choose an upgraded 8 gigabyte RAM version of the Mi Mix 2. For photo and video shooting, the Mix 2 has a 5 megapixel front camera and a 12 megapixel camera on the back. It's that rear camera that is essentially the same as the Mi 6's primary rear camera. No dual rear cameras here though, however despite lacking the ability to take true bokeh effect photos, I think you can see from these pictures that the Mi Mix 2 performs very well in photo taking ability. It has a 1.25 micron pixel size which ensures your photos look bright and colourful. There's also 4 axis optical image stabilisation, meaning that even with moving objects on screen, there shouldn't be much blur. Still, at $589, it's a very welcome alternative to similar but much more expensive phones from Apple or Samsung. Overall, I think this phone is a big improvement on the previous model of the Mi Mix. It's ideal for someone looking for a classy, bezel-less design and who wants no compromises when it comes to power and capability. If you'd like to buy one, then go ahead and check out the link in the description. And whilst you're at it, click that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.